This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the Clubman Cup. The next step after graduating from amateur class. Advanced skills required. So I attempted this on our first day of recordings. As you can tell, it's the second day because I'm wearing a Star Fox shirt, not a hell of a boss shirt this time around. And I went ahead and bought this Mazda Cosmo from the uh, used car dealership. Unfortunately, it's too thick and too slow. So we're gonna have to sell one of our cars. We sold our Mazda Demio for some uh, money for upgrades. And uh, yeah, we're gonna sell. We're gonna have to sell another car. Sorry, 3000 GT. Sorry, Nismo 400R. I've already used you in the original playthrough, so I don't care about using you again. I don't care for your one-time prize. Oh well, because thickness is more important. Because thick thighs save lives. Also, hi everybody watching this live right now on Twitch. Hi everybody. So, what we did already was we gave it a sport transmission, weight reduction. Stage 1 and 2. We don't have enough for Stage 3, so we're going to have to put more power into this. I'm thinking... Stage 1 Turbo? And probably a Suspension Upgrade. Nope, those are Stabilizers. That should be good enough for the victory. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yo, what's up, Dan? Just in time. And here we go, Clubman Cup. Let's check out the information. We have Autumn Ring, Clubman Stage Route 5... And Trial Mountain. More money this time around, so seven, 700,000 credits for the win. Two, 2 million credits for the championship. Let's get started. Dude, the select chimes do sound like a cash register. You know what's funny? Um, So, I don't shop at Whole Foods because I'm too broke. But um, whenever I do, because sometimes, like, I like to buy peanut butter from Whole Foods. Because, like, most of the peanut butters in... Actually, entry list, first off. Same ones as, as last time, so MR2 GTS, Impreza, it's about the same field. The Impreza and the MR2 were given us hell when we tried to do this with the Thick Cosmo. Um, so anyways, um, what I was saying was like, whenever I buy peanut butter from Whole Foods, because their peanut butter is really good, it's cheap, and it's only like literally peanut butter and salt, and that's it, because I don't want sugar, like added sugar. Um, their credit card machine cracks me up because whenever you, the transaction gets approved, it goes bleep, bleep, bleep. And it sounds just like the GT1 menu. And I always think about that. No clutch drive shaft upgrade? Uh, I probably should have, but I think Turbo Kit 1 and the sports suspension will be good enough, I reckon. Codemasters owned by EA? Yeah, I heard. Uh, I don't know how I really feel about it. Like, it sucks, but it was either EA or Take 2, and they're both pretty terrible. And yeah, the turbo's making a huge difference. But like, honestly, yeah, exactly. It's like, pick your poison. Which bag of shit smells, you know, the best? It's both shit at the end of the day. But like, wasn't Codemasters already heading the, in the direction of like, shitty, questionable business practices anyways? I mean, Dirt Rally 2.0 is like a good example. Like, you basically excluded all the Dirt Rally 1 content and then decided to resell it to us without touching it. F1 shark cards, for real. Like, dude, GTA 5 is terrible when it comes to microtransactions. Like, it, pick your poison, basically. Take 2 or EA. Both of them would have been bad. Hey, Celica. They both would have been terrible. Oh, the MR2 tried bullying us. Unsuccessful. But I really don't know how I feel about it. Like, eh. I guess I don't care enough because, like, Codemasters has been really shit on games that weren't F1. Like, the Grid Revival sucked. Dirt 5 sucked. Jimmer's in the MR2. Yeah, he just has to roll it over and then it'll be realistic. And we need to find a blue R32 skyline and then that'll be him. F1 2020, yeah, but it's still a good game. I mean, it's basically just a repackaged F1 game, but what I'm saying is, like, the F1 games are still good. Everything else that Cody's does isn't good. Like, like I said, Grid 2019 was terrible, and Dirt 5 is meh. Damn, so even with the upgrades, still gotta fight for this one, but we can still pull ahead and victorious. 
Colin McRae Rally. The last non-F1 Codema Codemasters game I played and owned was Dirt 3. I bought the, um... I didn't buy the Ultimate Edition. I forget... I, I, I forget what the editions are called. Like... It might have just been like a pre-order bonus or something, but like, I got mine from Canada. And it had, it had French text. I literally bought it the week after it came out for $40. Best $40 I've ever spent in my life. 7 million credits, by the way. 700,000, I mean. And race number two. They can still do Simish. I feel you. I feel you. But, I don't know, man. It's just like... Yeah. Isn't Grid supposed to be like arc? Well, actually, Grid is supposed to be Simish. It's not supposed to be full on arcade. Anyways, Club and Stage Route 5, race number two. Um, I just feel like Codemasters can't have fun anymore. Like, Dirt 3 was like the, for me, the perfect game in the series in terms of like, like the career, like the fun wacky modes and shit. Grid is Sim K2. Well,. Right, but I think what Celica means is... Oh, actually, like, good arcade racer. I think what he means is, like, full-blown arcade games. I don't know, just in general, like... Cody games aren't really that fun. Maybe F1's fun because, like, the career mode, like, you can really, like, tweak and adjust it with, like, the, the difficulty, how long you want the races to be and everything. But, like, Grid... Gr Grid 2019 especially, it's just a checklist. It's like Gran Turismo 6, except Gran Turismo 6 gets the saving grace because... Prize cars and Gran Turismo tracks and stuff, you know? Like, it's basically just a checklist. Do all these races. Do you get any rewards? Uh, no. Also, damn, we're struggling here at Clubbin. I think Trial Mountain will be okay, but around here, we're really struggling. Yeah, tuning in upgrades in GT6, exactly. Yeah, and F1 2020 has my team. My team, pretty much. I would say, like, that was what the selling point was from F1 2019 to 2020. That alone. Like, if it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, at least it could be rewarding somewhat. Like, sure, the you get the same, you know, you only get, like, 15 prize cars maybe total in GT6, but at the same time, like... At least it's fun to drive Motegi and Suzuka and Trial Mountain and Special Stage Route 5 and stuff. Oh god, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Fuck. That is not good. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I, we went from podium to sixth. What are the points gonna be like? Oh my. Oh my. Hey, Arthur. At least the MR2 won. The imp Wait, the Impressive finished second. In, um... Oh, the points are mixed up. Look. We good, boys. We good. We, we have to win Trail Mountain. Dude, the points race is super tight. Holy shit, look at that. That's a really close points battle there. I have to win Trial Mountain. Yep. There we go. We got our 50,000 credits, aka 500 if you're playing this in the West. Oh, that's right. Slot 2. Slot number two is where we're supposed to save the replay. I forget. But yes, um, I think we can win. Um, I think we can win Trial Mountain. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Hello, Toy <laughs> Hello, Toyota GT4 SD205 Rally Car. Swiss Chocolate Flavored Monster? Didn't you tell me about that? Or you told me about another flavored monster like that was kind of like... Maybe it was like a Polish exclusive? I don't remember. I have trouble remembering shit sometimes. I think that's everybody though. X fucking excuse me. That sounds gross, but I would be high key down to try it, no lie. I probably should have bought the semi-racing transmission because the gears are still a little bit too long. I feel like the gears were only shortened just by a tiny amount. So we're already up to fourth. That's a good. That's a good start. It's pretty damn good. Hmm. I mean, chocolate like hell. Chocolate with food is not really 
bad either. Like, I mean, look at look at like like one of the Mexican cuisines, like mole. That's practically chocolate, even though it's like more like a spicy chocolate. It's still chocolate. It doesn't sound too terrible. I'd be down to try it. I don't know if I'd be I'd be getting it all the time. More like coffee, huh? I mean, I've heard of worse monstrosities. Dude, mole is so bomb. Like, okay, so on Thanksgiving, we did we did pure chile rellenos, which is like, which are like peppers, basically. For those who don't know, peppers stuffed with like meat and corn and other veggies and stuff, put into like batter and then kind of like fried on the pan. Um, we you know we did that like Guatemalan style because my family's from Guatemala and uh, my brother's girlfriend's from Mexico and so. My brother's girlfriend's mom made mole, and dude, it was so fucking good. Coffee Coca-Cola? Okay, I need to try that. I'm pretty sure, dude. I'm pretty sure there's a freaking Brazilian store here. I would not be surprised. I mean, we have, we have a bunch of, like, churrascarias here anyway, so... Diet Coke Cherry? Okay, yeah, diet, diet soda in general is terrible. But... Cherry flavored, like anything flavored diet soda? Ugh. No thanks. And fuck, it's worse for you, anyways. Thunder, what the hell is? Thanks, dude. To begin with, like, dude, diet soda in general is worse for you. I used to have a, a teacher in high school who would drink like two cans of freaking diet soda every single morning, and she was like, I need my fix! She's like, my students told me I'm a soda, I mean, I'm a sugar monster head, so I decided to Diet Coke instead. I just looked at her like, bitch, you're fucking insane. <laughs> like, no wonder why you're so active and crazy every morning. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> Guess the trash? Dude, I love coffee flavored anything. Like, okay, so I I've mentioned previously many times on stream that the corn man that's, you know, in my neighborhood. For those who don't know, in, in the ghetto, uh, usually there's vendors who sell corn on like a stick and they put like mayonnaise and like butter and cheese on it and it's pretty damn good, but it's super unhealthy, so I only have it occasionally. He does homemade ice cream as well and he does like homemade coffee ice cream. Anyways, you win the championship, just barely. But, um, yeah, dude, coffee flavored anything, I fucking love coffee. Like, anything flavored coffee is, it gets the nod for me. You gad because it was so sweet. Dude. Just overly sweet anything for me in general is just bad. Like, that's why, like, when it comes to, like, let's say chocolate, like, Milka, the German brand, I love, like, the the salted biscuit flavor. I love, like, salty with chocolate. It, it's so good. Anyways, like I said, barely win the championship. Two points ahead of whoever was in second. I didn't even bother checking because we were carried away. Two million credits, aka 20,000. We are the series champions, and let's get our new prize car. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? Oh, that's right, the Camaro Z28 30th anniversary. Nice. I love the red stripes. Cause America. Those are our specs. And there's no information on the car. That's fine. I guess cause it's a prize car. But anyways, Club and Cup complete.